Captain's Lock Day Zero, a new series inspired by A Letter to the King by J. Hale, with the difference that this one is supposed to tell the stories from the past, a tales which new sailors have no chance to learn about. So here we begin. My adventure started as a British captain in Kingston Port Royal. I've heard already how to start. What should they do in the beginning? So I went to the shipyard, I took a basic cutter equipped with the 4 pound medium guns, I took a mission for the midshipmen, and then I decided to set sail. When I undocked from the Kingston Port Royal for the first time, it was a big, big view for me. So many ships around, it was a very crowded area. Every second, big, small, or different size ships undocking and docking setting sail for different directions it really exerted a big impression on me so i was i was feeling lost i decided to set sail i was bugging around sailing around not really sure what i'm supposed to do i've got my mission but i had problems trying to locate it so after spending about five or ten minutes sailing around i decided to dock again and then i started talking to the other captains I've asked for advices how to navigate what to do and there was a handful number of the captains trying to help me, trying to give advices, tips. I've received a 6 pound long cannons for my basic cutter from one of the very good and helpful captains. He told me, explain how to find my mission and then everything became much easier because I knew how to navigate on the map. I finally made my way to the mission, and then when it started, well after quite a time I've got sunk. My first mission and I died. <laughs> it was not really a good feel, but anyway, I've been fighting much more superior ships than my basic cutter. I was fighting privateers, pickles, navy bricks, rattlesnakes and all kind of different 6th freight and 7th freight ships. Basically all of them were much more superior than my basic cutter. But I didn't want to give up. I took another mission and another and another. And I got sunk in the consecutive two next missions. But eventually I got promoted. And everything was becoming much more clear, easier to understand. I was making progress as a new captain in the big Caribbean world. Besides doing missions, I was also trying to observe what is going on around the capital area. There was lots of ships doing different things, but from time to time there was a fleet being formed. A fleet right at the entrance of the bay. Just ships grouping at one place, waiting for each other and then setting sail. So, as a very curious captain, very often I was just trying to join one of these groups and follow them. Sometimes receiving questions if I'm a spy, what my intents are, because people don't don't really trust when they see a new captain on the basic cutter following a fleet with the intent to capture a port, with the intent to go for some trading or PvP or for the mission. It might look fishy, but this is the way it is. A new captains are really interested, really curious what these massive big fleets, or sometimes small fleets, want to do. They are following them because they want to learn. They are following people that know what to do in this game. So they are watching, they are observing, they are learning. And this is the way it was with me. Having my first PvP fight in a basic cutter. This was something really cool. You, you feel like you, you're trying to survive for your life, not getting around by a huge ship. Rather than paying attention, what what should I shoot at? What should I fire at an enemy ship? Or just the feeling of being scared of all of, all of these big ships. And then you suddenly find your pace in the fight. You start to understand how everything works. Everything becomes much easier. This is how it was with me. The first days on the sea, the first days in the combat, everything was very complicated hard to understand but the more i was trying to understand it the easier it was becoming if there were things that i was not able to understand there was always a captain around that could easily explain this to me 
One of the things that new captains have to overcome is the massive flow of the information in the nation, like reporting enemy ships, trying to trade, sell something from a fleet, or asking questions all the time, like for example enemy Danish fleet grouping at the Japan Islands and most new people are like, Japan Islands in the Caribbean Sea? <laughs> yeah. And ships, enemy ships are docking from Ilavash, heading for Jamaica. Someone blockading, hunting trader, forming a fleet for power battles, for patrols, for the mission. Real Admiral mission type X to join, want to sell a ready for combat Mercury. There was like, like a massive flow, and there still is, but not as massive and in past. A massive flow of the information in the nation chat. So this is how I experienced the beginnings of my career in the Caribbean Sea and of the captain's flock.